Well, this is definitely not the right hat for this type of weather, but that's not going to stop us. It's the David Bomble Christmas giveaway. Today, I'm going to give the winners access to Live Labs. The winners will get 500 hours of lab access on the Live Lab system. Two lucky winners will get 500 hours of lab access. That means that the winners will be able to access a live labs devices such as 3750 switches, 2800 routers, and many other types of devices. So continue watching and I'll explain to you how you could win one of two prizes. Two people will win 500 hours of lab access as part of today's giveaway. Out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times It's Christmas Might not look like it on this side of the world But it is Christmas And that means it's time for the David Bomble Christmas giveaway from today till Christmas, I'm going to be doing giveaways. So make sure that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. Make sure that you click on the bell to enable notifications. To win some of these prizes, you've got to be quick. So if you want to win something, make sure that you have notifications enabled. So, what is Live Labs? Live Labs allows you to access network devices anywhere in the world from anywhere in the world if you have an internet connection and by just using your web browser. Now a really cool feature about Live Labs is you don't have to install any additional software. You don't have to install a VPN client. So you don't have to set up a virtual private network to some system. You don't have to install Java or any other software on your web browser you just need your web browser to be able to access Live Labs. Live Labs supports multiple protocols on the server side. So as an example, it supports VNC, it supports RDP, supports Telnet, supports SSH, supports HTTP. So multiple protocols are supported on the server side, but only an internet connection using HTTP or HTTPS, where HTTPS is the preferred protocol, is required on the client side. In other words, when you connect to the Live Lab server, all you're going to be using is HTTPS. In this example, I'm connecting to a pod of equipment in the USA. I'm once again currently in South Africa. I'm connecting to the internet using one of these. In other words, a 3G or 4G router. My internet connection is going from the Southern Hemisphere to the Northern Hemisphere in this example. So again, I'm in South Africa and I'm connecting to a rack of equipment or pot of equipment in the USA. This topology has multiple devices. So as an example, if I click on this Ubuntu desktop client, another window is opened and I'm automatically logged in to an Ubuntu server. This is an Ubuntu server running as a virtual machine in the USA. I can open up a terminal on the Ubuntu client, but notice once again that I'm simply using HTTPS on the client side. But I could use commands such as ifconfig pipe more on the Ubuntu client. And in this example, I can see the IP address of the Ubuntu client. This is a full Ubuntu virtual machine. So I could run applications as if I'm connecting using remote desktop protocol or RDP. So as an example, I can start an office application such as Calc. And then I could run formulas or do whatever I'd normally do on a PC. Again, this is an Ubuntu virtual machine running on a server in the United States, I'm connecting to it using a web browser from the other side of the world. I'm currently in South Africa, connecting from the Southern Hemisphere to the Northern Hemisphere across a 3G connection. Here's an example of a switch. 
the switch is currently on. I'll open up a terminal and while that opens I'll connect to this router and open up a terminal to the router. So in this example I've got a connection open to an Ubuntu PC. I've got a connection open to a switch. As an example I can type show version here to see the version of switch. I can see that this is a 2950 switch and I've got a connection to a router. Show version here shows me that this is a 1700 router. So again, tab one in my web browser, tab two in my web browser, tab three in my web browser. Here is the network topology once again. I can't in this topology access core devices, but I can access these three devices in this topology. Now again, these are browser tabs, so I can resize them as needed. So here's router one. Show IP interface brief. Shows me the interfaces on this router. Now in this example, my desktop window is too small, but I can simply refresh my browser tab and I'll automatically be logged back in to the virtual machine and the desktop will be resized based on my browser. So notice desktop has been resized. I can click on menu once again and then I can run various applications. I'm running once again within a web browser and I can use various commands on this Ubuntu PC just as if I was connecting to it locally or using RDP. Now this equipment is hosted in the United Kingdom. It's hosted in Gloucestershire in the United Kingdom. Quite a few devices in this topology but let's select PC1 and while that opens I'll select PC2 so here I've got PC1, I'm logging into PC1 and what you'll notice here is this is a Windows computer and I've got Notepad open and I can type stuff into Notepad but I'm connecting to the server using my browser. So this Notepad application is running within my web browser. Here's PC2, notice I've got PuTTY open here. I could open up PuTTY again I could open up other applications such as a CMD prompt and use commands such as ipconfig to see the IP address of this PC. So in this example I've got two Windows computers running in this lab. Here I've got a switch but it's currently off so I'm going to power it on. I'm told that it's now powered on. While I'm waiting for that I'll power on this router it's currently off, so I'll power it on. Device is now powered on. So I can open up a terminal to the HQ router and I'll open up a terminal to the switch. So here again is one PC. Here's another PC. Here's my connection to the HQ router. Here's my connection to the switch. As you can see, the switch is busy booting up takes a while for the router to boot up. It's a 2800 series router, so it'll take a while to start up. If I'm worried about the state of that router, I can click on it and I can see that it's currently on. And there you go, notice program load complete. Self decompressing the image, the router is now booting up. So in my topology, once again, I've got two Windows PCs, I've got some switches and some routers that I can connect to. Here's PC1, here's PC2, here's the router, and here's the switch. So Live Labs allows you to connect to many devices in many different topologies. In this example, I'm using physical Cisco routers and switches and virtual machines in various topologies. The one lab is hosted in the US, 
The other lab is hosted in the United Kingdom. Through the Live Labs interface, you can simply reserve labs when you want to use them. So you can book time on the labs and then use the labs that you prefer depending on where you are in the world. You may prefer a US lab to a UK lab as an example. Now to access a lab through the Live Labs interface, you enter your username and your password. Now once you log in, you'll be able to see how many credits you have. You'll be able to see the time on the Live Lab server. It's based on UTC. You can then go to Lab Schedule and select the lab that you want to reserve. So as an example, I want to reserve this UK CCNA lab. Time on the server is 1832. The time on the server is 1832, so I'm going to select this time slot. As you can see, it says I'm three minutes behind. Do I want to book this? Yes, I do, even though I'll lose three minutes of time. I've now booked a half hour session. If I want to book more time, I simply click on the next available slot. My lab is now active and I've got a reserved session at 7 p.m. I can then go to Active Labs and click Open Lab. I can do that because this lab is currently active. So the Active Labs tab shows me which labs are currently active. The Reservations tab shows me which labs I've reserved. The lab is now being provisioned. You'll need to wait a minute or two while your lab is set up for you. So now's a good time to get a coffee while the lab is provisioned. Okay, the page automatically refreshes once the lab is provisioned. And now all I need to do is click on the devices in my topology if I want to access those devices. So as an example, here's PC2 and here is PC1. Notice I'm automatically logged in to the Windows computer. If I want to access the switch, once again, I can see the devices on. I can click open terminal and I can access the switch in my topology. So it's as simple as that to book a lab and access a lab in live labs. Once again, my reservations shows me the reservations that I've made. This one is currently active. This one is reserved. Lab schedule will allow me to see the various labs that I want to book. I can filter labs, for example, by specifying UK, which only shows me UK labs. Okay, so that was a quick demonstration of Live Labs. I hope you like the interface. I hope that you find Live Labs beneficial. But now it's time for me to tell you how you can win one of the two 500 hour Live Labs prizes. Now to be eligible for this prize, you have to be a subscriber on my YouTube channel. You have to follow me on Twitter. You need to put a comment below this video telling me why you should win this prize or this giveaway. Why should you get this prize rather than someone else? So let me know in the comments below why you think you should get this prize rather than someone else. I'll announce the winners on Twitter tomorrow, so make sure that you follow me on Twitter so that you can win one of these prizes.